Change don't mean I've been frequently freaking these bad bitches overseas. I was thinking often, heartless in the focus. Only niggas had like bad men and robbing. If that nigga keep on talking, we might have to rob him. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the challenge. Your host with the most Tomboy Double and you're currently watching Tomboy TV and welcome back to another sneak review. Now today we got a little special one because this was actually released yesterday. So you know your boys getting on top of things. We're trying to get this video out ASAP and I'll be posting a picture with these tomorrow as well. I just finished taking it and I also did include the on feet review in that one. So we'll skip to that in a second, but First of all, I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I do want to talk about my premium Discord giveaway. Now, I do talk about it all the time, but you know what? Enough, enough. I do. We got to do a giveaway. So, we are doing a lifetime giveaway. We're doing two separate ones. One on Twitter and one on Instagram. Oh, there are two separate ones. You could, you're you not going to win twice, but you have a better chance that you can enter twice. You know, you can enter one on give on Instagram, one on Twitter. We decided to give it both because, you know, we do have an Instagram page and Twitter page. Instagram is Tomboy TV Plus, and then the Twitter is Tomboy TV Discord or Tomboy Discord. You guys will see it right over here as well. Uh, we are trying to get things kicking off. It's already been really successful. I just started. We just started it today. Um, hope you guys go enter it. It's a lifetime membership to the premium group. You guys will never have to pay anything, never expire. It's all free, 100%. And we have a bunch of good stuff in that premium Discord as well. Restock may be coming towards the end of, end of this month, October. But we're just going to see how everything goes down. But yes, we are back home, as you guys can see. I try to come home every other weekend or every weekend or so. Because I do have a lot of packages. I did film another unboxing yesterday as well. So that'll be hitting the channel soon. And we just had a lot of Supreme. A shit ton of Because I haven't done any Supreme unboxings this entire season. <laughs> except during week one and this was pretty much week two week three week four week five and weeks i did not include week six that was separate in yesterday's video but enough talking we're here to talk about the supreme i mean not whoa 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 we're here to talk about the sbs you guys can see the nike sb box right here these are the benjis now these are the white white lucid green cell blank color white size 11 now honestly i might end up just keeping these for myself so i do talk about that about a lot of sneakers but these I might actually have to keep myself. So they do come in the regular Nike SB turquoise box. Split down the middle Scarface style. We got the turquoise here and the black here. Split logo as well with the white and turquoise. You guys can see the balanced logo. And you know, they, they're not going to make many fakes of these. But you know, I always do try to show off every aspect. Just in case you guys want to legit check your shoes. Because I personally do see these going up over time exponentially. But... Let's get into it. So we do got the Nike SB paper right here. It is the um, bamboo type paper, the, like the hardwood paper right here, the classic hardwood. So, you know, we do got that coming down. And then we got, of course, the sneakers, the Nike SB Benchies. And your boy already slightly destroyed them, so I'm kind of sad about that. Um, while I was trying to take the picture, which once again, we'll get to in a second. But I'm going to pop these out right here take these out so these released at skate shops did not release on nike on nike sneakers app did not release on nike us either pretty much was just at skate shops and select retailers for these i know concepts had them was one of the big ones that were first come first serve i got mine at a local skate shop they unfortunately did charge me 120 because they charge a little bit more sometimes on top just because they can because it is what it is but i, was, I won i won the raffle i only entered like two raffles and ended up winning one of them so I went ahead and ended up picking up my pair in a size 11. Um, now, smaller sizes are doing the best. But first, before we talk about resale, I do want to talk about the actual sneaker itself. So first of all, when these release, the pictures don't do justice, in my opinion. I don't think the video will do much justice either until we go outside. But at first, I didn't realize. I was like, yo, what the hell is the design on this shoe? And then I realized, yo, there are a bunch of Nike swooshes. I did not realize there was a bunch of Nike swooshes all over. Uh, this was in collab. You guys didn't see. I already scuffed them on the back right over here. They got the Benji on the heel. And pretty much just Nike swoosh all over, coming around. And then boom, right there on the toe box. Pretty much literally all over. And it's embossed into it. I like how they did it. It does look like from afar, it looks like just like a bunch of shit coming on the shoe. I thought, at first, I thought it was textured as well. Until I literally did see the better pictures. But we do have swooshes all over, as I said. Pretty good material. It's that leather, nice leather material. Not really real leather, but it's somewhat of a leather. Uh, the fat Nike SB Pro Dunk Low tongue right there it's mad fat and cushioning which makes a shoe very comfortable uh it's uh, overall i do really like it like at first i wasn't a big fan a lot of people don't even know much about this sneaker that's why i wanted to make a video on it because it nike didn't really say much about it it just was to nike skate shops and that's it and there really was no big promotion for this i mean nike had like one po like flyer that i saw going around social media with the benjis and all that but other than that though 
There really wasn't much word on the streets about this. So main feature again on the tongue. It's pretty much an all white sneaker with a little bit of green. Nike SB. I wish they incorporated more of these colors all around the shoe, like the black, the Gucci. Gucci colorway of sorts all over, but we do have the Nike SB shoelaces right here. It does come with thicker flat shoelaces as well, and all of them on the on the shoe uh, and and endlets the endlets right here. You guys can see. Hopefully, the camera will be able to focus in on it. The same exact print, so it does have the little thing. The thing is, it's so cool. You guys can see. I don't know, but there's little little mini 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 Nike swooshes in white on the black. Then on the top, you do have little black swooshes on the green. Like the the attention to detail is very good. I really like how they executed it on this one. On the inside of the tongue, you do have this little right there. It says Nike S Nike swoosh. Um, Nike and the swoosh uh, name and stripe are trademarks and quality made in Vietnam. Oh, uh, Nike LE term swoosh. Unfortunately, I wish they would like, you know, sometimes with the uh, Costins, for example, they did have the $24.99 tag underneath this flap. Nothing else on that, but the insole is something I want to talk about as well. So it does come like a little shoe tree right there. Um, and then on the inside, we do have the actual like typical bands. Right, I don't know if you guys will able to pick it up or right there, like the bands right there that keep the shoe tongue in place. We do have the QR code right there. It says US 11. I don't know. I'm sorry the lighting is not the greatest. Most of my lighting is at college, but you guys can see the tag right in there. The insole is something once again I want to talk about. So let me go ahead and take this out. Let me pull. Up, let me pull a Harlem real quick on y'all. So boom, this is what it's looking like. Okay, once again, attention to detail is very well. Bunch of Nike swooshes. You know, if this if this had a lot more like. We were, I was actually talking about in the premium Discord with a few people, like, if they did release it on Nike sneakers app, would it have a little bit more resale? Possibly, that would also mean a little bit more, a lot more, um, supply, though, at the end of the day. But cushioning is A1, you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, if I press into it, my fingers sink into it and then slowly comes out. And then on the back, you do have the typical Nike SB pocket on the back. And it does say 10.5 to 11.5, so I'm assuming this insult is the same for 10.5 to 11.5 sneakers. And then it's kind of a little bit narrow on the inside and then it's come to a very narrow heel as well but once again the nike swoosh is all over killer now once again i will be talking about resale in a second but on the inside you do have the string right there uh and i don't think there'll be another fire sb until like fire quote unquote depending on what you like until the off whites come out because i think well, there are a few more Nike Dunks coming out soon. We do we got like the fake Ferris Bueller's coming out. We have like the brown, like the brown Mocha Travis Scott type vibes on it as well. Then we have another one that did recently. It was supposed to release in this year, but it looks like it's gonna be releasing in March. For uh, you guys will probably be able to see the image right over here. I'll put it over here just because I want to know a little bit about SB News because Nike SBs uh, is making a comeback. I mean, it's. It's always been a fire shoe. They did kind of die down slowly in the past few years, but as you can see, they're coming back with killer concepts, much better collaborations. We've seen some some things coming down on the Jordan 1 Low as well. Well, I honestly might just end up uh, keeping this for myself. But we also do have the midsole right here. It's almost like the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1 Highs that are coming out later this month as well. So we do got like a little nice natural cream colorway coming down compared to the all white colorway on the actual shoe. And then you guys can see, boom, right there. That's how it looks on the bottom of the silo, on the sneaker. That's basically the same exact thing as well. And luckily, I didn't. Uh, I did slightly scuff these on the back as well, um, Matt. Yeah, but you know, wear your sneakers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wear them every so often. Um, I should, I should really listen to my own advice sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone real quick, and we are gonna talk about resale because, um, you know. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, by the way, Travis Scott did drop some new stuff on his site. I'll give you guys that real quick. He did drop a new t-shirt. Boom, right there. If you guys want to see the email, uh, basically did drop a t-shirt. But anyways, we're not talking about Travis Scott right now. And also, Nike Sakai Blazer uh, Hi How to Cop Guide is also coming out later this week. Uh, they will be releasing this Thursday. But Nike SB Benji's. I'm going to put you guys up on the screen in 3, 2, 1. Now, they also did release live they also did release clothing for this collaboration they had a polo which was like 70 dollars. the cap was like 26 kind of well, not really overpriced but you know it was all right but look at this man 129 lowest like we'll go for my size first retail was supposed to be a hundred dollars uh some skate shops charged 120 unfortunately you guys can see at first this size was something for 270 200 165 187 then boom just dropped down to the low 100 teens you're not going to make much money off these right now at all. 129 lowest ask, 110 highest bid. Uh, but if we go into the other sizes, if we go to all, highest bid is actually on a size 5. I only know a few stores that actually release smaller sizes like this. I know Concepts did. 
Uh, lowest ask is 11 and a half. And then we go on to the smaller sizes. So we got seven, five. I mean, you're still making barely any money on these at the end of the day if you did actually end up securing them. And you're actually losing money if you did buy bigger sizes. Now, the thing is, there wasn't a real online release from Nike. You only select skate shops, as I said. So that means a lot of people didn't even have the chance to get them. So eventually, they're going to have to come back to either like a resale platform like StockX. But I got to say, StockX, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go too crazy right now, but they did it. Literally, my shit got hacked. Like, I'm not even kidding. My boys got hacked, clothes and souls. His stuff got hacked. Mine got hacked today. Uh, I got multiple emails from multiple different, uh, like, Groupon I'd account. Uh, not checked, but uh, I had a few other accounts. Was like, hold on. I'm actually, I'm actually going to go into this right now. Because they did email me telling me. Actually, I actually have a screen recording on right now, so I don't want to get into that. But they did tell me that my my uh, account had some weird activity. And my Gmail accounts had the same thing. That my uh, thing had a weird activity. That they reset my password. Shopify as well. So that's directly linked to StockX. 1000%. So if you have StockX. I would be careful. Change your password. Please do not mess up. I had to change up all my passwords. It's very serious about like what can happen. Once people do hack your stuff. I know my boy got. Someone ended up buying 700s on his account. And he didn't buy them. And he can't get his money back. I digress once again, something to yesterday. Uh, I will be talking more about that entire scenario soon. But once again, if you do have these, I would definitely hold this item. It's a very decent shoe. Look at this, 12 and a half. Not even, be, not even to be found. Um, skate shops did release some size 15. Damn, rare size as well. But I have a size 11. Um, oh, damn, you guys just saw someone just took that bid. You guys just peeped that high speed was 110 a second ago. Damn, you see, look at this. You must not do this. You must not, you know, you must not succumb to these highest bids. That was live. You guys just peeped that, right? That happened live right there. Someone just sold it for 110. Um, they will be going down for quite some time. I'm gonna take you guys off the screen. They will be going down. Uh, I do well for now. They're gonna go down until online orders come in and all that, but I do expect them to go up over time. I think it's a very clean shoe, very slept on once again. A lot of people don't even know about it, so. If you guys did cop them, let me know how many pairs you guys cop down below. Because I know a lot of people got multiples of these. And they are in the hands of many resellers. So resellers, let's control the market for a second. Real real resellers, let's control the market, alright? No no dumping needed on CockX right now. But anyways, that's it for the Nike SB Benji review. I'm going to go outside, give you guys the on-feet look, and I'll catch you guys back. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys can see we do got the Fox jersey on body already. Honestly, a very fire piece. I am I am rocking with it right now. We got the Supreme branding along the collar. Box logo on front. Screen printed on. Popping really nicely on back. We have a very small graphic, if I'm not mistaken, on the back. But we are talking about the Ben G's today. I literally just did throw them on. I was standing on the roof. You guys can see, unfortunately, I did get a little bit dirty on the back. I, I really messed that one up right there. But I did try them on. I'll put them on feet one more time for you guys real quick. You guys can see we got the Honda rim right there. All sorts of damage, you know. This is my vehicle. We're not fake flexing this vehicle right now, unlike a lot of people out there for this collaboration. But on feet, I do typically like these threes. You guys can see their beaters. They are a size 11 and a half. Now these are a size 11 on feet. You guys can see these are the Benjis. If you can zoom on in, come closer. They do fit very comfortably, and you guys can see I do have a considerably a good amount of size in front of the shoe. Let's throw in the toe box. So I'd say half a size down is an optimal size as well for these Benjis. You guys can see check marks all over. In the green grass, my favorite part is the tongue. On the inside, we do have different graphics, uh, different branding as well. We got Benji on the back, and then unfortunately, I did scuff them OD over there. But you know, that's sometimes what you got to do to risk it for these fit picks. And then we do have this thicker lacing available as well on the shoe. So overall, I'd say it's a very good shoe. I'm. I'm, as I said inside, probably it's a very slept on shoe. I think it should be flipping for a lot more. I do see them rising over time, especially in smaller sizes. Now this is size 11. I might end up rocking it myself just because it's only, it was $120 for me because my skate shop did charge me the high because they charged $20 over for a lot of their shoes. But I might end up just rocking them. They're not a, it's a good winter shoe as well. And I do need a new pair of sneakers finally in SBs. You know, why not go with this one? It is an all white sneaker, so it will get very dirty. As you guys can see, it already did get scuffed up pretty badly right there. Anyways, we're about to go back inside and finish off this on-feed review. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it so much. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Tomorrow should be Nike Sakai Blazer uh, How to Cop Guide. If I can make it in time. And if not, an unboxing will be happening on the channel. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.